The object was discovered by the Canada France Hawaii Telescope. The information isn't publicly available yet. It's real weird. That's how science works nowadays. It's real weird. Brown this week tweeted that another Kuiper Belt object named UO3 L91 has been discovered, providing further evidence of Planet Nine's existence, and that UO3 L91 is exactly where Planet Nine says it should be. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. Scientists discover most planety Planet X in the solar system. We are giving you all the evidence. Can your heart stand the shocking facts about Planet Nine? Ladies and gentlemen, we are over at the internet publication Tech Radar, enduring their clumsy, cluttering ads so we can learn more about Planet Nine. And here's the deal. We have more evidence there's a hidden planet in our solar system. And it's huge. How big? Anywhere between the size of Neptune to the size of eight Jupiters. And you may say, well, hey, if it's that big, how come they can't find it? Well, obviously, it's really far away. And it's colder than vanilla ice. And anyone who knows anything about ices knows that vanilla ice is the illiest and the chilliest of all the ices. All right, so stop, collaborate, and listen. There's a new planet in our solar system. Its gravity grabs a hold of me tightly. <laughs> I flow like a heartbeat daily and nightly. All right. Okay, though. The story is by Farha Khan. It was written three days ago. And she's reminding us that although we have more evidence, we have a giant unknown planet in our solar system that we haven't actually found it yet. Asterisk. Because a lot of times, like whether it be the weather vortices on Venus or crazy auroras on Jupiter or just whatever, NASA may wait five to ten years before they tell us what they found. That's how science works nowadays. It's real weird. It's real weird. A good science finding is like a nut. The scientist then tries to keep that nut squirreled away so nobody else can touch or smell or see its science so he doesn't lose his grant money or is proven a fool and a failure on his theory before it even comes out. I don't know, science is all screwed up. Everything's really screwed up these days, you know what I'm saying? While it may seem extremely odd that there's a giant planet in our solar system that we haven't actually seen or found yet, scientists are claiming there is now more evidence that proves its existence. In recap, about a year or two ago, Scott Shepard Trujillo found 13 object orbits, including perennial badass Sedna and VP113, and said that their orbits, all meeting on our elliptic, indicate there is a giant massive planet out there somewhere. And the Pluto killer himself, Mikey Brown, came in and was like, let me steal your thunder. You were wrong. It's not 13 orbits. It's only six. But you were right. There is a giant, new to us, planet in our solar system. Now let's all work as a team, Earthlings. Find this thing. You see, earlier this year, astronomers found evidence that a so-called planet nine exists in our solar system, suggesting it may be almost 10 times the size of Earth, sitting far beyond Pluto and past the Kuiper Belt between 20 billion and 100 billion miles away. This would mean that it only orbits the Sun once every 10,000 to 20,000 years, and is likely why we haven't been able to actually find it yet. Asterisk, they may have found us. If they did, they're not gonna tell us right away. The scientists, including Professor Michael Brown have instead been studying objects in the Kuiper Belt and found six behaving in such a way that suggests some other large object like the theorized Planet Nine could be influencing their orbits. All right, now this is where the story gets interesting. Planet Search. Brown this week tweeted that another Kuiper Belt object 
named U O three L nine one has been discovered, providing further evidence of Planet Nine's existence. He explained that the planet is expected to be oriented oppositely to these objects, and that U O three L nine one is exactly where Planet Nine says it should be, and that U O three L nine one is exactly where Planet Nine says it should be. Okay, so the Canadian Hawaiian Francian telescope sits on the top of that giant mountain in Hawaii. Found it in a its version of the All Sky Search, apparently. Looked it up in NASA's JPL database, but it's not there yet. In response to questions, he also added that the discovery of UO three L nine one should help scientists narrow down the location of the planet. The object was discovered by the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope, which is conducting the Outer Solar System Origin Survey, or SOSOS. -S -S. Well, there's a hint for you. And the image of the orbiting path of UO3L91 was presented at the SETI Institute earlier this month. Further discoveries from the OSOSOS, which is looking at other objects in the Kuiper Belt, will help researchers test the theory of Planet Nine. However, the information isn't publicly available yet. So say what you want to say, people. I'm just reading you the information that's been made publicly available. And we know that's not always everything we will get from our glorious and grand government. Yeah, <laughs> see? Sweet. Oh, there's a note here. Meanwhile, the Hubble telescope has spotted the furthest galaxy ever seen. Think, yeah, dude, is shit really far away? Then it's not really that interesting. It's my opinion. I could be wrong. I'm a kid, Michael Brown, a lot, but the kid has cojones. And he's very good at what he does. So he's okay in my book. Nah, I just like to make fun of him. Yeah, you gotta have some fun. He's got a big ego. He can take it. All right, let's check out what Mike Brown is saying now. Hey, Planet Nine fans, a new eccentric Kuiper Belt object was discovered. And it is exactly where Planet Nine says it should be. Okay, first of all, this tweet implies that Mike Brown has been talking to planets, which is either fascinating or scary or both. Man, what type of witchcraft do they hand out at Caltech? First Jack Parsons, and now we got a planet talker? I guess that's cool. See this little green liney thing? That is Sedna. Sedna has like a 12,000 year orbit. Sedna is a total absolute badass. So, Planet 9, you owe 3 l nine one asterisk, we don't know yet. That thing's got an amazingly long orbit, 10,000 to 20,000 years. Which begs the question, how big is it? When did you see it? How many astronomical units out is it? And what is the closest it comes to the sun? And could public people go to these really cool SETI talks? Mike Brown doubles down. I haven't done the statistics yet, but I suspect this takes the probability of this being a statistical fluke down to 0.001% or so. Planet 9, by the way, is oriented oppositely to these objects. So it's to the right and way up off the plot. Mark Brown is saying this helps to narrow the orbital uncertainty. Discovery date, was this in the last few days or was it the one from some weeks ago? Mark Brown says, I don't know. They haven't yet publicly Release the details. It sounds like he knows. He ain't going to say. Those Caltechers are loyal to high command, I hear. All right. Specialty cocktail for the Planet Nine talk. Sorry, Pluto. Not sorry. Adios, Pluto. Crafted by the team of the James Webb Space Telescope. One bottle can be yours for only $25 million. Sure, that sounds expensive. Space tele They had every James Webb Space Telescope scientist that ever worked on that thing autograph it. And of course, you can't have an astronomy dinner without solid gold forks. I should sign up for his astronomy class. Where in the world is Planet Nine? Hint, look here. Find Planet Nine. All right, so that's cool. So I'll keep covering the story. It's fascinating. It's interesting. And it's real. This is real science, bitches. I know all you Planet X haters are mad at Planet One Niner, but I just thought that, uh, you know, 
Oh, I think it's a cool story. Sweet. God bless everybody. Stay cool. What is a planet? <laughs>